Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see a few facts about our earth. Let's begin. As we all know, earth is in a spherical shape. There are even people who believe that earth is flat. But both of those thoughts are wrong. Earth is not perfectly sphere. Earth bulges about 0.3% in the equator. Earth's diameter from the north pole to the south pole is about 12,714 km while through the equator is 12,756 km. The difference 42 by 700 km is about 1 by 300 of the diameter of Earth. The variation is too tiny to be seen in pictures of Earth from space. So the planet appears round in shape to the human eye. The days on Earth are getting longer every century. When Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago, its day was about 6 hours long. About 620 million years ago, the timing was increased to about 21.9 hours a day. But today, the, a day is about 24 hours long. But it is increasing by about 1.7 milliseconds every century. What is the reason? The moon is slowing down Earth's rotation through the tides that it helps creating it. Earth's spin causes the position of its tidal ocean's bulge to be pulled slightly ahead of the moon to Earth axis, which creates a twisting force that slows down Earth's rotation. As a result, the days are getting longer. The driest place on Earth is the Atacama Desert. The Atacama Desert is located in the northern side of Chile. This is next to the biggest body of water, the Pacific Ocean. Average annual rainfall in Arica, Chile is just 0.8 mm, which is 0.03 inches. It is believed that Atacama Calama City saw no rain for 400 years until a sudden storm fell in 1972. Unlike most deserts, the Atacama is relatively cold. Earth's gravity is the same in all places. If Earth was a perfect sphere, its gravitational field would be the same everywhere. But in reality, the planet's surface is bumpy and water flow, ice drift and the movement of the tectonic plates beneath Earth's crust all changes the pull of gravity. These variations are known as gravity anomalies. A mountain range such as the Himalayas cause a positive gravity anomaly Gravity is stronger than, than it would be on a featureless, perfectly smooth surface. On the other hand, the presence of ocean trenches or dips in the land caused by glacier millennia ago leads to negative gravity anomalies. NASA's Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment Mission orbiting the Earth is mapping Earth's gravitational field in detail. The most recent of ice began on Earth 70,000 years ago and ended 1,500 years ago and reached its farthest extent 18,000 years ago. During this time, glaciers and sheets of ice carved out of basins of great lakes and blocked rivers. Diverting the coasts of Mississippi and other rivers in the US. So much water was trapped as ice that sea levels dropped by as much as 120 meters. Exposing parts of what is now the ocean floor. Earth's sea level has also been up to 70 meters higher in the past. During that last interglacial period, the sea was actually 5 to 7 meters higher than it is today.
Our sun has a voracious appetite. All stars like our sun age and eventually die. As the sun exhausts its supply of hydrogen, it will collapse under gravity, ultimately ballooning into a red giant that is 100 times bigger and 2000 times more luminous, vaporizing Earth in the process. One option to escape from this is to leave the planet before this happens. But that would require actually unimaginable technology and a habitable destination. The other possibility is that over the next few billion years, a passing star could disrupt Earth's orbit and kick it away from the sun. Scientists have suggested that the odds of this are 1 in a thousand. Better than winning the lot. Unfortunately, left to the sun, our descendants will freeze to death. But don't worry, it won't happen for 5 billion years. There are a billion microbes in a teaspoon of soil. The number of microbes in a teaspoon of soil is estimated to be roughly equivalent to the number of humans currently living in Africa, which is about 1 billion. The moon is not Earth's only companion. There are two other bodies orbiting near Earth that are sometimes referred to as moons though they are not strictly worthy of the title. Discovered in 1986, 3753 Crinia is an asteroid that actually orbits the Sun. Since it takes the same amount of time to orbit the Sun as Earth, it looks as if Crinia is following our planet. Its orbit when seen from the perspective of Earth appears bean-shaped. Asteroid 2002 AA29 also orbits the Sun once a year following a more bizarre horseshoe shaped path that brings it close to Earth within about 5.9 million kilometers or 3.7 million miles every 95 years. Because of its close proximity to Earth, scientists have suggested to bring samples from AA29 to Earth. The calm before the storm. As a storm draws warm, moist air, its fuel from the surrounding atmosphere, it leaves a low pressure area behind. Air is carried up to the storm cloud and some of it is forced upwards by powerful drafts. These upward drafts remove the hot air and push it out over the sides of the highest storm clouds, which can be about 16 km 10 miles. As the air then descends, it becomes warmer and drier, therefore more stable. It blankets the region below and stabilizes the air contained within, causing the people within the region to notice calm before the storm. There are more viruses on Earth than the number of stars in the universe. An estimated 10 non alien individual viruses exist on our planet. Enough to assign one to every star in the universe 10 million times over. Viruses infiltrate every aspect of our natural world, living in seawater, drifting through the atmosphere, lurking in tiny moats of soil. Okay, guys, I hope you got some information from this video. See you all in the next video with one more interesting fact. Take care. Bye.